Hi friends, today we're going to, I'm going to share with you how to make a basic sambal. Let's look into the ingredients that we have to grind first before making a sambal. I have here one uh, roughly chopped onion, six shallots, sarai, garlic as well as ginger. This ginger is about a one inch uh, ginger, garlic about six cloves. And then we have separately soaked dry chili in hot water for about 15 to 20 minutes. These two ingredients, we have to grind it separately. And then in a pot of oil, we'll have to cook it together as to make a basic base sambal and then we have to move on to the second stage where we make the proper sambal with this sambal we will have have to add in right now i'm going to do a potato and tomato sambal very easy basic i have two medium sized potato which is chopped uh, thinly i will fry this separately in oil and add on into the sambal later then we have two pieces of middle sized tomato over here and then one whole piece of yellow onion which is sliced thinly uh, do not add in any big chunks of onion slices. Just choose the thinly sliced onion to it and we have a sarai. Let's, and finally we will have brown sugar to be added. Now brown sugar is an uh, option. You can use your normal white sugar or any other sugar that you like. Gula Melaka, palm sugar, anything. I'm using a brown sugar for this recipe. Let's grind these things and then move on to cook the sambal. Hi, now we have heated the pan. We have grinded the onion and the dry chili smoothly the dry chili has to be smoothly uh, uh, blended because uh, uh, blended sorry because uh, if there is a little bit of seeds over there then uh, it's gonna trouble your stomach when you eat later so let it be very smooth paste of uh, the dry chili uh, blend now the wok is hot let's include the soup. Mm -hmm. the onion garlic sarai Slowly we'll cook it. I use the same oil that I used to fry the potato earlier. No matter the taste and everything will blend together. Now cook this in a medium heat. Let the onion cook first and then later on we'll add in the dry chili paste. Once this is done, this will be the base of the sambal. You can contain it in a, a jar uh, for about a week or so. It will be fresh. You can use it for any other uh, cooking that you want to incorporate a sambal later. You can use it for nasi goreng, you can uh, use it for noodles, you can use it for mee goreng, you can also use it for other sambal that you want to use. So don't waste it if there is extra. Put it in a jar and then keep it not in a plastic jar but a glass jar. And uh, as usual, uh, whenever you're going to take out the sambal, make sure the spoon that you're going to use is dry. If the spoon is wet, the sambal uh, will be bad. It, it won't last for one week to be spoiled. So here and there, try to serve. Mix it well. You will know that it's starting to cook because the onions smell, the raw smell will go off. You will know the onion, the garlic. You see bubbles all around, which shows that it's properly cooking right now. Let's wait a few minutes more, for about uh, two minutes or so, then we add in the chili paste. After a few minutes, about uh, two minutes or so, you can see uh, the onion is getting thicker. The another reason why we have to cook both this uh, uh, dry chili paste as well as the onion paste is we have to make it thicker, evaporate all the water that we added when we are grinding it in the first place. See, it's actually starting to separate. The water has evaporated from here. Now we have to cook it furthermore by adding in the chili paste, dry chili paste that we grinded just now. Same thing, we have to evaporate all the water that has been incorporated before. There you go. Let's mix it together. Probably now we want to adjust the fire into a it's slightly more than the medium fire that we set before. Not so much, not so hot, because you have to slow cook this. Ah, you will experience this popping of the chili. There's no choice because there's water inside it, so it reacts in such a way. The whole kitchen will be in a mess. As they say, the process of cooking includes cleaning the kitchen altogether after the cooking itself. So you've got to have some drop to do. Wipe out the surrounding of this 
work because of the damage done by the Sabal. But it's all worth it. Indulgence. One thing I would like to share with you is that uh, please be careful when you're adding in oil to cook this sambal because you're already adding oil in this and then after that you have to make the ikan with sambal or, or potato sambal or whatever sambal that you want to make later you're going to add more oil so add a little bit of oil here and medium oil over there as well so that your sambal will be too oily this point just for us to do home cooking it's not going to be slightly healthier than what you can have in the restaurant we will leave this so that the water evaporates it will take about another 2 or 3 minutes or so and come and check. If you want to avoid this popping, you can always put the lid onto the thing, but if, uh, onto the wok. But if you are daring to cook right now, I would advise you not to put the lid on and leave it because you won't know how long it will take and how fast this thing is going to cook. So to avoid surprises of being overly cooked or burned, I keep it open. Just that you have to clean your kitchen later, that's about it. Let's wait for another 2 or 3 minutes. After about uh, Two minutes or so, now you can see all the water has evaporated. The sambal is thick. This is the base sambal. I'm going to cook any other sambal that you want to cook later on. Now I'm going to transfer it to another pot and then keep it in the fridge because we're going to use a very small portion of this sambal to make the potato and uh, tomato sambal after this. So let me transfer this and get back to you with a clean wok. Okay, on a clean wok, we add in oil. And it's hot. First, adding the onion, the yellow onion that I have uh, sliced into thin pieces, thin slices. Okay, let's quickly see how to do the sambal. As usual, the fire should be mid-range. Put in the oil. I'm using the same oil that I've used to do fry the potato. Do not waste it. You can use it anyway. Clean the tomato. Let's wait until the oil gets heated up. The sambal duration of the sambal is just about 10 to 15 minutes because we have already cooked the paste of the sambal already. So we just have to caramelize the onion and then put in the tomato as well as the potato. Okay. As you can see, we have used three types of onion in the cooking. First, we have our shallot and then our meat uh, size red onion. We grind it to do the paste. Now, we are using the yellow onion. Yellow onions are sweet, so we we'll caramelize it. Once you caramelize it, add in your tomatoes. And to cook the tomato faster, we'll add in appropriate amount of salt. If you're not sure about the salt, you can always add in gradually. Salt will help to stretch the onion and the tomato. We cook the tomato halfway through until it's uh, thin, thin soft. Then we know the process of cooking it. Marking. I decided to also show you how to do uh, shrimp sambal, sambal oda, after this vegetarian sambal. So we we'll have two types of eating, veggie and non-veggie dish. You can see it's starting to spread. in the potatoes mm -hmm. 
do not add any water into the sambal. Sambal is known to be thick and hot. Shouldn't be watery. Uh, a lot of places where you can see sambal watery is not good. Not the proper way to do sambal. Some places they need to have sub cow sambal, they need to fry the cow and then cook the sambal separately, adding the cow later, but they don't cook the sambal and cow. So the gist of the sambal won't go into the cow. It will always be separated. Now the tomato has been cooked, adding the sambal that this that we had made earlier. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Let's cook this first. If you feel like you need more spice, then you add it more. You will have this is enough. Some people like to also use um, cheese. Some people like to use the 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 Thing, we can add in the sugar. One tablespoon of sugar. Taste this and see the spice is enough and the salt is enough. Perfect. We've done the vegetarian sambal, we'll move on to the shim sambal after this. Okay, friends, we'll look into how to do a shrimp uh, sambal. Pan is hot with oil. in the onion. There is no tomato for shrimp sambal, so we will add in the salt. To make the onion cook faster, caramelize it. Now we will add in the sambal. Point will add in the platter. Make the platter. The platter is 
thing you know that the smell will be there. So it's really mixed all together. Adding the sugar, one tablespoon. One more tablespoon of uh, maybe half a tablespoon of sambal. Sambal is ready. Maybe five minutes. Thank you very much, friends. Let's look into the other recipes in days to come. Please try this. Like and share and comment. If you have any questions, you can question in the comment box. Thank you very much. Bye.